welcome to our YouTube channel. Today, we go on a tour inside the Giga Berlin to see how Tesla produces its vehicles. Giga Berlin, also known as Tesla Gigafactory Berlin Brandenburg, is Tesla's first European Gigafactory and serves a critical purpose of meeting the surging demand for EVs across the region. This factory serves as the manufacturing hub for the popular Tesla Model Y. Let's go right into it and see how Tesla manufactures its vehicles, specifically the Model Y. The Giga Berlin is split into several sections, with each section taking over different production processes. It all begins in this area called stamping. This is where the magic happens. This process is basically fabricating the various panels and vehicle structure that make up the Model Y's body. The process starts with large coils of sheet metal, typically steel or aluminum, depending on the specific part being stamped. These coils are loaded onto unwinding machines that feed the metal sheets into the stamping presses. Specialized tools called dies are used in the stamping presses. These dies, the upper and lower parts, essentially act like giant cookie cutters that will shape the metal sheet into the desired car body part. A robotic arm or automated feeding mechanism precisely positions the sheet metal between the upper and lower die of the stamping press. The powerful hydraulic press applies immense pressure, forcing the upper die down onto the sheet metal. The intricate design of the dies cuts and shapes the metal into the desired car body part. Once stamped, the newly formed car body part is automatically ejected from the die and transferred to a conveyor belt where it is to be pieced and welded together by the giant robot arms. But before being welded, another production process is happening. This is the casting process and it is carried out in the casting section of the factory. Casting is a metalworking process that involves shaping a liquid metal into a desired form. It is ideal for creating complex and intricate car parts with intricate details that might be difficult or expensive to achieve with stamping. This process is done using the Gigapress. This colossal machine utilizes immense pressure to cast large sections of the car's body from aluminum sheets. These large sections include the Model Y's rear and front underbody. A mold, typically made of aluminum, is melted in a furnace, reaching a high enough temperature to become liquid, and then pushed into a hollow mold using a plunger. High internal pressure will be created during the process of pushing viscous liquid metal into a restrictive mold, necessitating a great deal of clamping force to keep the die's two halves together. This all occurs in a split second. The metal cools and solidifies within the mold, taking on the mold's shape. Once solidified, the mold is removed to reveal the casted car component and placed on a conveyor belt. And now it's time to piece the stamped and the casted body part together. The process of piecing it all together is called body in white. In the world of car manufacturing, body in white refers to a specific stage in the production process where a car is pieced together without its paint, engine, interior components, or even windows. Basically, large robot arms and conveyor belts start to come into play. They weld together all of those stamped and cast pieces to begin forming the skeleton of the Model Y's body moving from one robot down the line to the next, each one adding a new piece of the vehicle. This is what they call the body in white. After the skeleton frame is finished, they will begin securing every body part of the frame. These parts include the hood, doors, fenders, and the trunk. These cannot simply be put on by robots alone, meaning that workers will have to join in and take over this role. They will fasten all of this bodywork making sure that everything is installed correctly and in ideal alignment. When this is done, the bodywork is moved to the paint shop. Here, the body receives a meticulously applied coat of paint, transforming it from a welded structure to a sleek and finished car body. The painting process at Giga Berlin plays a vital role in transforming the raw metal body of the Tesla Model Y into a sleek and visually appealing car. Before any paint touches the Model Y body, it undergoes a thorough pre-treatment stage. This involves cleaning, chemical baths, and phosphating to remove any contaminants, oils, or rust that could hinder paint adhesion. While some car manufacturers still rely on human painters, Giga Berlin utilizes a high degree of automation in the paint shop. Sophisticated robotic painting systems equipped with multiple spray guns can precisely apply each layer of paint with consistent quality and efficiency. 
the painted Model Y body exits the paint shop, ready for the next stage of the production line. While the painting is going on, the next process is already being carried out. This process is plastic molding. This is done in a section of the factory called plastics. This area is responsible for manufacturing and assembling essential plastic components for the Model Y's interior, including the dashboard, door panels, center console, steering wheel, and trim pieces. While the main body structure is metal, some exterior components, such as bumpers, side skirts, and mirror housings, utilize plastic for their function and desired properties. After the plastic has been molded, it is then taken out with a robotic arm and moved out to be carefully painted. While that is going on, a separate area is producing the Model Y's drive unit. The Tesla Model Y's drive unit, also known as its powertrain system, is the heart of the car's electric propulsion system. It's responsible for converting stored electrical energy from the battery pack into mechanical energy that ultimately rotates the wheels and propels the vehicle. One unique feature of this factory is that it has a dedicated section for constructing the electric motor. This involves processes like winding copper coils for the stator, assembling the rotor with permanent magnets. The Giga Berlin houses a battery pack assembly line. Here, individual battery cells are assembled into a high-voltage battery pack according to Tesla's specifications. This involves welding or connecting the cells together and encasing it in a protective housing. Once the electric motor and battery pack are individually assembled and tested, they would be integrated into a cohesive drive unit. This is one thing that makes the Giga Berlin so unique. Everything from the vehicle's casting down to the battery production is all carried out in this factory. After the drive unit is done, it is then moved out to the general assembly to be integrated with the Model Y's chassis. In the general assembly, the painted body of the Model Y comes in to have all of the interior paneling fitted, the bumper and other plastics, the electronics wired up, and the glass installed. For the drive unit and battery pack, they are going to directly bolt on the front and rear Giga castings, and that is the entire underbody of the Model Y. The electric motors are then integrated into the Giga castings, one in the front and one in the back. Brakes and wheels are installed, transforming the assembly into a functional rolling platform. The carpeted flooring is then carefully laid on top of the battery pack, followed by the center console and various interior trim pieces. Seats are then firmly bolted directly onto the structural battery pack for optimal strength and stability. Then the last big step is going to be to drop the finished body directly on top of the frame and powertrain assembly. The two are connected together by a series of bolts all around the perimeter of the structural pack. A team of dedicated inspectors meticulously examines the entire Model Y, identifying and rectifying any minor imperfections before it heads for final delivery. And that's it for the production process of the vehicle in the Giga Berlin. Let us know what you think about this factory. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we will see you in the next video.